At noon, we got number 22, BYU, who's 4 now. Trevor to Baylor, who's 2-2. Two two. Baylor favored by 3 on FS1. Jake Retzlaff has gone 72-115, thrown for 990 yards. Eight, nine touchdowns, three interceptions. Also leads on his team on the ground with 28 carries for 103 yards. Chase Roberts has had 17 car- catches for 310 yards and a touchdown. Sawyer Robinson has gone 32 of 50, thrown for 463 yards, three touchdowns, zero interceptions. Dawson Pendergrass has had 34 carries for 157 yards and a touchdown. And Josh Cameron has had nine catches for 142 yards and a touchdown. BYU is 2-2 two two against Baylor all time. Last game to go to BYU in 2022. Home team is 4-0 in these games, so and uh, BYU and Baylor 1-1 one and one in one possession games. Both these teams are coming off two very different weeks. BYU is coming off a thrilling, um, amazing, dominating win over a ranked Kansas State team at home, a, a game that has BYU fans really excited, right? Like you're in the top 25, you're undefeated. Suddenly, you're in that picture, right? Like a lot of people are, we're talking about, is it going to be Oklahoma State, Kansas State, uh, Utah and then Iowa State eventually put their name in the rank, but now BYU is ranked, and you're feeling like you have just as better good a shot as the other three teams, even even a better one. I'm sorry, other four teams, and even better one than two of them because Oklahoma State and Kansas State both have losses, and you beat Kansas State, so you have a tiebreaker there. Um, on the other hand, Baylor's coming off probably one of the most heart wrenching, just just soul destroying losses you will see maybe all year. Ouch, what a way to lose. Ugh, you gotta be sick if you're a Baylor fan. You had that game on lock. You had beaten Colorado. And then a Hail Mary happens to tie the game at the end. You go to overtime. They score a touchdown first, but you have the chance to tie the game and send it to double overtime. You fumble at the goal line. And it's gotta be one of the most heart just like rip your heart out of your chest losses we will see this entire football season and so that was a really rough way for Baylor to lose because they had that game you had you were three you three and one um your only loss was going to be to Utah and it's like it's actually not that bad of a loss um this is this is where Baylor's season can absolutely go off the rails this is a good BYU team you are playing at home and this is your chance to make up for last week. I know nothing's really going to make up for last weekend because you had a chance to beat Colorado and shut those fans up, but there's a chance to turn it all around. There's a chance to beat BYU. a good BYU team at home. Um, I think BYU is going to be a little bit sleepy coming off the Kansas State game. They really gave 110% in that Kansas State game to pull out that upset. Not all the credit to them, but Baylor isn't as bad as a team as their record indicates. They lost to a really good Utah team and honestly should have beaten Colorado if miracles don't happen, right? I don't think Baylor's awful. I think this could be a turning point of their season. If you lose this game, I think it goes downhill really quickly. I think if you win it, and I think they will win it, um, you can get it back on the tracks, right? And I think Baylor gets it back on the tracks. Give me Baylor to win and cover at home.